guys hope you are well today i want to talk about one particular weapon that is in my opinion kind of forgotten and that is breta m 9035 pg let's refer to it as breta this gun is only one with burst fire mode in the bf5 it's decent but today i want to talk about breta secondary fire mode semi-auto mode but first breta was added to the game as ties of war river dream chapter 4 but since then almost no one talk about this gun or use it. Initially Breta was capable of take down an enemy with single burst, 4 bullets, but since TTK 5.2 gun came through with all other weapons in the game except ball action rifles and medic carbines, complete transformation to 5 bullets to kill and that made burst fire mode obsolete. Since that time even after almost TTK revert with 6.0 patch, was this gun kinda forgotten. Now, initial damage with the gun is 30 if you hit the upper body and drops down to 22 in 50 meters and stays flat according to sim.gg. Sim.gg is amazing site where you can find all kinds of stats for BF5 weapons, gadgets and all sorts of things and I'll be referring to this site with uh, other stats as well, because in the game, because in game stats for guns and everything are well simple. So that uh, makes gun 4 bullets to kill up to 40 meters, and after that, it's 5 bullets to kill with flood image model. So that makes Breta burst useful again with 1 burst to kill enemy up to 30 meters. But at the start of the video I said I want to talk about secondary fire mode and why? Well, because burst fire mode is not for me. I know this is my personal opinion and if someone of you guys find burst fire mode amazing, that's great. But for someone else this gun is forgotten because they don't like burst and that is also great. That's the reason why I'm making this video in the first place. Let's continue. Maybe someone of you so far noticed that in my footage I was using only semi-auto fire mode for Breta. And as you can see it makes this gun fun to use once again and also taking people down really fast. But someone of you may be asking why use Breta and switching to semi-fire mode when you can use M1A1. Where M1A1 has better damage model for close distances. With flood damage 27.78 up to 50 meters, so that's how damage Breta up close, but if you look to do great distance after 50 meters, Breta sustained flood damage model with 5 bullets to kill, but M1A1 is 5 bullets to kill from 50 to up to 110 meters, with damage drop from 27.78 to 20, and after 110 meters, M1A1 needs 6 bullets to kill, and that is one more bullet to kill than Breta. And we all know that BF5 is designed with large open areas, with most medium to longer ranges fights, and in these distances it's not that easy to hit all bullets from one burst and it's more difficult when target is moving. So that makes selective fire mode more effective. I choose for comparison M1A1 because with semi-fire mode Breta and M1A1 has similar fire rate and similar damage model. Breta fires 423 rounds per minute and M1A1 450 rounds per minute. But if you can if you choose light bulb specialization for Breta fire for Breta, fire rate increases to 464 and with trigger drop fire rate comes to 540. So if you can smash that mice button like crazy and sustain your aim and stay on target, you can effectively overshoot M1A1 in close ranges as well and also you have 4 more bullets in the magazine compared to M1A1. And according to sim.gg, Breta has also advantage with recoil over M1A1 and also faster bullet velocity, where M1A1 has 610 meters per second and Breta has 700 meters per second. So that makes hitting longer ranges targets even easier. Yes, that makes Breta better over this one weapon. But if you compare gun to the other semi-auto rifles then Breta is out damage with almost every comparison. 
For example, AGM slash 42 fires also 450 runs per minute, but had better damage model with 2 shot headshot capability. So then what makes Breta with secondary fire mode better choice over, over all these guns? Well, there's also subjective matter. Yes, you can have gun with better objective stats, but for me personally, when I select secondary fire mode on Breta, gun starts to feel so good to use with almost no recoil. If gun just personally don't work for you, but is new meta like it was with Type 2A in TTK 5.2, that gun could shred people in the split a second and even if you want to use it, but for you works better MP40, that makes choice simple. I didn't want to say use just one weapon that works for you, no, because if you don't try some variety of guns first, you can miss some amazing guns like Breta with secondary fire mode and also you gain some knowledge about how other guns work and how to find against them. And here is my speci specialization tree I choose for the Breta. I started with the quick aim downside speed for that closer ish battles when I need to react quick and continue with the right side of the tree with ported barrel for lesser horizontal recoil and trigger drop for better fire rate and finally I obtained for custom stock with lesser bullet spread while moving so I can hit my target more precisely and make myself harder to hit while moving. So that is pretty much all from me for today, if you like my content toss like on this video, leave a comment if you try Breta selective fire mode or consider to do so and also if you like this styles of video and consider subscribe to me as well, it would be amazing. Enjoy, enjoy the rest of the footage and I hope to see you all in the next one. Munition! Ich bin scharf. 